Hello and welcome back to Starfield. Before I continue back on Par Paradisium, Paradise, um, I have been kind of busy building a tiny little outpost on uh, a moon. I'll show you where this is. Um, I have, I have, I think iron getting done over there. Um, I think I have beryllium and I have helium. So, that's what uh, we're mining on this planet. I haven't figured out if I wanted my actual um, base to be here or if this is just like a little simple base, but I will show you guys what I kind of built um, here. I don't have much, but, um, and I will show my ship also. I upgraded the razor leaf. But, um, I've been kind of busy building outposts. It's not much, but it's home. Um, I put Lynn and... What's his name? Hey, you need something? Heller? I put them both here. I have no idea where Lynn's at. Um, she's probably somewhere around. Um, uh, but she's here, somewhere. Um... She's like an outpost manager or something. So, I think so. So she's. Oh, that must be her. I have my two um, solar generators. I have a lockbox here. Um, my iron looks like it's full. Um, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna deal with it right now. How are you, Dusty? Oh, Lynn, how how are you? But yes, this is this is my outpost. I have, let's see, it'll tell me. I can mine for helium, aluminum, beryllium, and iron. So I kind of hit the jackpot on this on this moon. It is, if you see down at the bottom, um, it is in the Narion system, and it is called an Androphon. I hit the jackpot and I got four of the four of the materials here. This place. It's a little boring. So I'm in the process of building this up. I also um, was in the process I built this. If you build this on your outpost, um I lost my train of thought. If you build the ship docking station at your outpost you can have a ship builder here and then it'll grab all most of the resources some from the other places that you visited so i want to view and i want to show you my guys my ship this is my razor leaf i add it um i add it oh boy i added some extra cargo i added some extra rooms I upgraded, uh, I think, the engines and all kinds of stuff. I even color-coded it. So, I, um, I did not do this on my own. There was a video that I did, um, that I did follow from Tagback TV. And, um, I'll connect that in the description below the video. So, let's continue on um, the par Paradis. First contact is this. Um, I need to hail the unidentified ship by Paradisio and attempt to communicate with it. So, let's do that. Slow down, slow down, slow down! Sorry, you're breaking up. I know that's grammatically impossible, but somehow you managed to do it. Okay. I don't think this is working. I'm going to attempt a docking procedure and we can talk on board. So my ship is now 
kind of faster and more powerful, so I need to. <laughs> this is the first time taking it out on a test drive. It's clear. We're docked. Um. So. But if you haven't guessed, I'm using my favorite colors. I love purple, green, and black together. Are we? We're in casual, casual attire. Um. Is that um? I guess so. Got my talking shoes Stay on. Alert. Weapons at the ready. Remain calm. There's no reason to suspect whatever it is is hostile. You're human. Oh, surprise, surprise. Of course I'm human. I take it you are expecting something else? It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Well, I'll be... This is like a time capsule, except with living, breathing people. What? We have got to explore this ship. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Rida. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti Da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. Uh, wait, don't tell me you're going to ask me for some- Okay, no, I don't want to be rude. Yeah, yeah, look, I'm just here. Okay. What is this ship? You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. Wow. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Uh, I'd love to know more, know more, but maybe we should get away from this airlock first. You know, those others are human beings, and they were here first. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty big risk. Incredible, 200 years? How did it take you so long to get here? Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain yeah. why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology wow. leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. Oh, wow. So you know about people on the sur- How did you survive for 200 years? Well, the short answer is, we didn't. It's a generation ship, which is to say that most of us lived long, happy lives on board and passed our mission down to our children. It was never intended oh. that the original crew would make it to our destination. The goal was always the preservation of the human race, above all else. Though, it would seem that was perhaps a bit <laughs> presumptuous. Okay. Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Yeah, please give me a- Now I want to be- Please follow me. There's much spaced. to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. Wow, this is like a whole Star Trek. I do not like, believe we have need to fear our guests. Yellow shirts, red, red shirt, blue shirts. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. Hmm. So, Oop. he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the yeah? constant, okay. and a for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, the most little... advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at Jittery the time. over there. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Just because our equipment's old, 
doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. So place belongs I in could museum. be walking in and Heck bringing all sorts of diseases to these people. Our people never expected to meet with other colonies, so forgive them if they are distrustful. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. It sounds like you could use some help with your situation. Is it difficult being captain for a colony ship? Mm, difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a bracken ridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. But with this stumbling block in our path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. How's your crew holding up? A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. How long have you been captain? I think I'm coming up on six years now. I was only a teenager when my father died, passing command of the ship to me, as is tradition. Because of that, I've had to sort of learn as I go along, instead of taking years of study and apprenticeship under the prior captain. Oh. I think some people on the ship resent me for not having the level of experience as my predecessors. Or you're kind of like at the same time, royalty. without my command, we likely wouldn't have made it here so quickly. Okay. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt sure. to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Uh, the people in Paradisio want the same. I'll help. Sound like you're just trying to offload the hard parts to someone else? Oh gosh, what's wrong with your communication system? We suspect that our equipment is woefully obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. Okay. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds. Something we saw in an old movie, but I don't believe they picked up on it. If anything, it may have inadvertently alarmed them. Uh, yeah, you kinda did. Ah, oh, so they have a name. Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution. Preferably one that favors us. I can do it if you tell me what you'd like me to say to them. I'll try, but diplomacy may require a compromise. If you had claim to this planet, how could others settle here? Because... No, don't find another planet, because they're not going to last that long. I can do it if you tell me what... Okay. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say. I didn't... And we'll go from there. Okay, but no promises I'll be able to convince them. Are you out of your mind? There's no way that they'll go for that. Parima is huge. Why not settle on the other side of it, away from the others? We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Mm, okay, but no promises I'll be able to convince them. Now, now. It makes little sense to give up before you try. Well, you're Thank asking you. a lot. And good luck. You think you're, you're high... You think you're royalty up here, but you're not anything. Now that we know what's out there. When you go down, down there. Alright. Oop. Where am I going? Wow. Look at 
a ship. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. I'm not gonna change it. I'm just trying to get out of here. We got strict rules around here. Oops. <laughs> what? Why did I spawn right here all in the luggage? Oh my goodness. All right. I highly doubt these people are going to want to negotiate anything. Come. There we go, Sam. Good job. You got in the elevator. The executive floor, please. Oh, wow. Why are you on your hands and knees? What is going on in here? I hope your stay here is going well. What is happening? One of these days, I'd love to experience this resort the way our guests do. Uh, not on your hands and knees? If the Paradiso board is busy in a meeting, you can always count on me to relay your message. I see you've returned. Yes, I have. I can let you in if you've done what you need to do. But if not, I can't have you disturbing the execs. Mm. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry. Even they call it that. Oh, well, that's... That's, um... Reassuring. No major incidents in a while. I just I feel that we that should way. be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet. Not our amenities. Who's talking? There are millions of planets out there. Uh. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Yeah, basically. Come on, mate. Loads more interesting things to do outside. I need to mill about in here. I uh, understand you're the man. I need to talk to you about the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Kind of. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. Mm. But given the circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> uh, let's just get to the matter. That's despicable. You know it's not true. Sure, whatever is brilliant. People are never going to fall for that. Why is this problem so urgent to you? Um, you know that's not true. Despicable? Hardly. Just a Beckett plan in case we can't get them to leave. But you're right. No one's going to buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. Not so right. tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scary people away. It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth. Here after a 200 year journey. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. No. Now, tell me, Smarter what than are we look. going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. I like They them. could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. No. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Why are oh, you I looking at me? This would be me? a lot easier if they cease to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. So they can live here, but they'd have to be indentured servants? Cease to exist? Are you struggling to destroy the ship? Why can't we just let them, let some of our authority handle this? Why can't they just settle on the other side of the planet or something? We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, 
much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. These are human beings and you're worried about landscaping? I understand your point from a business sense, but I disagree. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. I can if I take you out of the equation. <clears throat> so they can live here, but they'd be indentured servants. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> wow. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? Hmm. I've convinced them to take the settlement idea. I'll buy the grab drive and convince them to settle somewhere else. Hypothetically, what could make a ship like that go away? What if, after all of this, they continue to insist their claim on this planet predates yours? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Hmm. Hypothetically, what can make a ship like that go away? I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. Hmm. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? We better be talking super duper hypothetically here. Oh, Sam. I just asked a question. I didn't mean to make you mad. Uh, I'll convince them. Uh, I'll buy the grab drive and convince them to settle somewhere else. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. There's a lot of land out there for the taking. It'll be hard. Talk to anyone in list. But it'll be theirs. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. Uh, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. Oh, if you've right. heard about us elsewhere, okay. chances are... I'm done are... talking to these people. Sam hates me now. <sighs> Great. Alright. Um, Where do I need to go? I'm not overloading this ship. I'm not going to kill those people. Let's go to Hope Tech and purchase a grab drive for the ship. Speak with Benny St. James. Trucks in space. <laughs> Their motto always cracks me up. I really hope Sam loves me after this, because he hated my answer. I feel bad. Oh, but hello. I just wanted to Someone ask would... a question. I hear an expert with grab drives and other ship parts. I need to ask a favor. Sure. That sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Oliver Campbell sent me. I'm here to, about a drive gra the, 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 the grab drive for an old colony ship. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. Okay. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. 
So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. I figured that. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's in good okay. shape, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Gotcha. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. 40,000 credits, y'all are insane. Maybe we can find a way to lower the price a bit? Oh, jeez. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. Yeah, but I'm gonna try. You had that old part for how long? And no one has it yet offered to buy it? Perhaps not. But I don't want to just settle for an offer far below its value. Oh, this God. part is incredibly difficult to come by. Yeah, I hope so. I'm glad you're starting to come around to my point of view. Maybe we can work something out. Ooh, critical success. What, sounds like this is for a good cause. Yeah. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Okay. Oh, God. I don't even know if I have that much money. You're done, right? It is. I'll get to work on it right away. Do I? I guess I, I recommend do. you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Yeah, that's so expensive. How much money do I have left? <laughs> Nine thousand dollars. All right. Looks like I'm going. Uh, <laughs> looks like I'm going puddle diving for some credits. Shh. All right. What was that? Oh God. All right. Speak with Amon. Now that we've completed the grab drive, da -da -da, I need to speak with our engineering officer, Amin Kazimi, to figure out what we need to do to prepare the ship for its installation. So, let's jump back and go talk to the ship. Alright. This Never sh seen a ship, like ship that is huge, and, um,. I totally got lost trying to get out of here, so I'm gonna put my Witcher sense on and Just follow the stay out of trouble. Arrows to tell me where to go. Engineering. All right. Uh, assuming if you want to blow up the ship, this is um, the no-no computer. These are exciting times, aren't they? Mm. I wonder what it's like out there. What were you community. doing, sir? People always appreciate a good engineer, whether they know it or not. <laughs> I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! You can I have turn a million around? burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Uh, we have a tech called a grab drive that allows a ship to bend space. Ah, I knew it. It's, it's incredible. I read about this technology in our archives from Earth, but it was only theoretical back then. Amazing. I'll have to learn more. Oh, I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi, but you can call me Amin. And I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. I'm Willow, and there's something else I need to talk to you about. I don't want to be mean to her. Yes, of course. Anything for my new friend. I suppose I'm supposed to help you prep the ship for a grab drive. What grab drive? <laughs> <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. I'm hmm. prepping all of this. All right. 
This will be fun. And before talking there to the captain, no explosions in the process. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Uh, sure. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. Sure. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it! <laughs> Whatever you say, dude, because I don't know. Anyways, um, what is this? Engineering control panel. Uh, engineer. okay. Uh, ah. I don't know what he said. What, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do over here. Put a port? Shoot. What did he say to do? Um, okay. Does it tell me? I mean, ask me to handle three preparation. Reroute power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary. I didn't think I would have to remember all of this. Um... Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm at the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Turbo pump to the cryogenic. Turbo, turbo pump. Which one? Port turbo pump to the... Auxiliary cryo. Okay. Successfully rerouted. Got it. Okay. Did that. That's the no no computer. We're gonna do engineering control. Um. Okay, so what's the other thing? Turn plasma runoff in a to 5%. And decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures to the auxiliary from the auxiliary module assembly. Um, my brain is not not absorbing this. Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosure. Oh, I don't even know what computer I'm at. I had to take a second and write it down because I, my brain's not working. So the auxiliary as module assembly decouple from the magnetic flange pipe enclosures. Cannot complete instruction. Okay, One of the magnetic shielding panels is coming loose. Engineering controls. So I need this one. I need the plasma runoff inhibitor to five to lower it to five percent. Okay. Now let me go try to do this one again. Apparently I can't. Apparently my brain just doesn't want to work with this one. Uh, decouple the mag flange pipe enclosure. Magnetic flange pipe enclosures. Decouple from the auxiliary pass module assembly. I was doing it backwards. Okay. Both your Write a cheat sheet, because uh, I can't can remember anything. The captain while they're finishing the right, so I'll, I need to go talk to the captain. Um, how do I get there? Witcher sense activated. Can I just walk? Nope, nope, nope.
I've lived my entire life like I'm lost. What is this? Why is it green? So much more to learn about now. Living quarters. Good dig it. All right. Hey there. My winter sense is is working. threats coming from outside our ship. Careful waving that fancy gun around. I don't have a gun in my hand. Hey, ma'am. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Okay, your grab trial is installed. You should be all set. Well, well. It would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. I didn't think you would be the so accepting. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. You were pretty... Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Dead set Thank you again for there. all you've done. No problem. Glad it worked out. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. You can pay back how much I paid for your grab drive. Antique Earth Baseball? Antique Piggy Bank? Antique can Earth Soccer Ball? Huh? And a basketball. Oh. oh boy? No, you're the one falling asleep. As you are. So where will you go? Goodness, I'm not sure yet. We'll need to study our new star map. Then, well, I suppose we'll venture forth and try to find the perfect new home for us. It may take some time, but I'm confident we'll find something. And when we do, we'll find a shuttle to take us planet side. Thanks again for your help. You're welcome. See, when I walked on this ship, I didn't think You're it would be not to you, right? so easy to convince them to leave. So. Just stay out of trouble. So let's, uh, get back to our ship. Maybe you could help out Abe. He's been talking about needing someone with a ship. Who? Speak with Abe? Oh my gosh. I'm already lost. Um. Sure, I'm already on here, so... Why not? Where's Abe? Great. How many more days? Years of being cooped up Just because our equipment's old? Hi, Abe. Can you imagine living your whole life here? <laughs> I get claustrophobic just thinking about it. Oh, uh, Pi! Hello! You're the alien. He's so Sorry, cute. old habit. Let me start over. You're the person <laughs> who helped us with our little dilemma, aren't you? Yes. Okay, let's just move on. Wow, you really need to chill out. Are you okay? It's fine. <laughs> I'm just a bundle of nerves still. Things haven't changed too much since we decided to look for a new planet to call home. People still come to me with their problems and concerns. Abe, when are we gonna get there? Abe, can we find a planet with animals? Abe, I'm sick of this ship and want to be anywhere but here! And so on and so forth. 
It's fine, it's my job, but it's stressful, and I'm already a pretty anxious guy to begin with. Just ask my husband. Um... Sorry, yeah! <laughs> Deep breath, here we okay. go. Okay, I didn't want to be rude, but... <sighs> I'm Abe. Levitz. Abe Levitz! Cabin manager on board the ship, so I'm happy to help you with anything you need during your stay with us. Okay. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. I'm happy to schmooze with you anytime. Sounds like you need help with something. Oh, you heard? Uh, I was just kvetching to myself. Kvetching? Mostly I just need to find someone with a ship, but hey, you're someone with a ship, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I am. Just tell me what you need. I'll save you the spiel, but ever since we found out that people exist out there, the crew's been asking me if we could track down possible relatives. I made the mistake of looking some up, and now they want to connect with them. Now, okay. I'm not going to ask you to schlep anyone back and forth, but could you deliver these messages for us to connect our crew with their relatives? Sure. I'll do it. Just tell me where to go and where to find. Oh, you're such a mensch. Thank you. Are you Let me Jersey get you the letter <laughs> and the information you'll need to track down the relative. Message from relatives added. Great. Go to Elios. All right. I'll go if I can find my way off this doggone ship. Okay. How do I, how do I get out of here? The constant is a peaceful. already finished the pre-flight checklist that's my girl huh i'm pretty sure sarah <gasps> i have plushies in my bed oh my goodness that wasn't there before what okay so it okay so i did upgrade my ship um i added a captain's quarters this is my captain's quarters. Apparently, Sam is making very um, good use of the. It's like our, I mean, navigation console. Um, so we go up here. I should have given y'all a, a tour of all of this before. Uh, this. I have the science area, the research area. I have another to go up here for the workshop. Ooh, to do like weapon crafting and stuff. It looks more lived in since I've updated it. Ooh. So, Sarah is supposed to be on this ship. I upgraded the ship to have four people. I'm not quite sure where she's at though. I haven't heard her yet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then I have the recreational area for the crew. It has a little kitchenette and some workout stuff. Um, whenever the, I'm lost, Jesus Christ, I think, what would you do in my shoes? Okay, so Sarah not is here. Literally, though, I've got small. My captain's locker. I'm going to put all of the new things that they gave me. Miscellaneous. Uh, baseball store. Basketball. Hockey stick. Soccer ball. Piggy bank. Um, I still haven't brought the other thing. Um... I'm just going to put all of that in my my locker. And let's see where else we have to go. Because I'm kind of running out of time for this video. Let's 
go and find the book, the next Dragon Force book. It's on a planet called Titan. I haven't been to Titan yet. But I heard it's in the soul system. But. This is United Colony Space. Maintain current course while we scan for contraband. It's a moon of Saturn. And we're done. Welcome to New Home. I want to scan this first. Okay. It's a lot of water on there. Step. So. We are going to open the map, and we are going to go... There's only one place on here called New Homestead. We're going to go, and supposedly it's a good place to buy resources also. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path, and down into the colony below. Stay safe, and enjoy your visit. How do you see through that mask? I couldn't hear what she was saying. New Homestead is a living history exhibit, but these are real people, so please. This cutting is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. You will freeze solid without the proper protection. Thanks. I need to go down. First, I want to find the book. And then we'll talk to Luther. I don't mind the Doris. They help. I'm getting distracted. Time. I know I said I was going to do the Free Star Ranger quest. Um, but I'm totally getting distracted. Wow, it's like a shopping mall. What is this? Self service bounty. Okay, mission boards. I haven't taken any more bounty tour? hunters. Very informative. I didn't know about the methane tours. harvesters before coming here. Bill the, um, Starsat. Huh? The food was better than I expected from a backwoods planet. Hey, like look! It it's like it the things that the. I still the, can't the, believe people actually live like, like this. We live a well, simple life on New Homestead, yeah. homestead yeah. but make I no mistake. It's a VHS tape. Starsat tour. Tell your friends. Oh my god, it's a discman. Oh no. Seriously here. You don't mess with history. Excuse me, Bill. You've got to do a better job of keeping your tour groups out of trouble. What do you mean? That uh -oh. little boy almost wound up on my operating table. Around here Claudio said he was playing with some of the machinery down by the mines and nearly got his arm stuck inside. It could have been ripped off. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, kids, little troublemakers. I'll tell the guests to be more careful. Damn right. You've got to do something, or else next time it happens, I'm billing you personally. Whoop! Yeesh. Why, hello there! I'm Bill Starsap. Um, Star I already Tours. regret Let me touching tell you, him This place to talk. is full of history and interesting facts. For instance, did you know that New Homestead was one of the first colonies established outside of Earth? No, it's been but that's, populated in some capacity for over 200 years. That's incredible. I had no idea. Yes, sirree. And that's not science fiction. It's science fact. There's a lot more history where that came from. So what do you say? I've got an opening. I could take you on a tour right now if you'd like. No. Speak with Bill. No offense, starts up uh, in an unusual name. Almost sound made up. Okay, oh god. Okay, I'd like to go on your tour. Excellent! You won't regret it! My tours are one of a kind! 
Now, there's just the matter of price. The going rate for a genuine Star Sap tour is only 100 credits. I like to, but that's more than I was hoping to spend. Ah, well, <laughs> 100 credits is very reasonable, I think. Mm, you kind of pull a bait and switch on me. I assure you it wasn't intentional. I, I, I really should have been upfront about the price. I thought maybe you saw one of the flyers. Maybe I could do something for you. I'm sure we can work something out. Sorry, but I can't. Don't get me wrong, I know you aren't trying to screw me over or anything. Look, I'd like to help, but... <laughs> Tell you what, I like you. Okay, this I one's to... on the house, but if you enjoy the tour, uh -huh. I'd really appreciate if you'd tell all your friends about me when it's done. So let's get this show on the road, eh? All right, so this is New Homestead's main concourse. This underground area didn't exist when the original outpost, Titan Astro Base, I sure was hope finished I in follow him for long. Follow me. We'll come back here by the end of the tour and talk about the museum collection. Mm -hmm. But first, let's go see where people live. There now, remember, are times these people I aren't envy actors. those who are they able to actually travel live like here, so try to be respectful of that. While the original inhabitants of the Titan Astro Base so, lived in pods like you saw I'll follow above, him around. They transitioned down I... here when this section of the base was finished in 2144. There's the clinic. Space is extremely limited, so you'll notice some overflow. There's a lounge. But more residences also exist on lower levels, There's which are inaccessible That's to tours. I'll stop at each here. of our destinations if you want to look around, or if you have any questions for me. No. Speak with... Okay. Have any questions so far? Um, I'm ready for whatever's next. Alrighty. We'll be taking the residential elevator to the farms area on the surface level. This way, please. Uh, Let's leave these good people alone for now and go check out the farms. Follow me up the elevator. <laughs> Why did he laugh? I kind of food from that chunks, please. But... My papa says just a bunch of junk food for four. Feel free to look around, but don't touch. I was about to say, Bill, we're on the surface. New but... Homestead's farms are the beating heart of the colony. What is Without this? them, the original outpost would have shriveled and died. You get used to the methane processing spell. After a while. I really hope there's a purpose to this tour. Survival in the early days of the colony. Bill, you're very creepy. Any questions about the farms? No. Onward it is! <laughs> we'll be stopping by the Brown Horse Tavern later in the tour, which uses many of these locally sourced ingredients in their cooking. But for now, it's just a short way to our next stop. Follow me. So, the old bio labs are just on the other side of this building, believe it or not. We'll you step on through the hallway there. Skies and fresh They're not in use anymore, but the colony has day. faithfully recreated them I I as a historical exhibit, true to the original purpose of the Titan Astro Base. Sadly, they're undergoing some light renovation. Otherwise, there'd be interactive activities for kids to learn about how they used to search for microbial life here. Someone's got to talk to Joyce about these brownouts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I know about here brown eyes. Life. Oh. Pardon the coming. dust, but I can still answer some questions about the old Titan Astro Base Biolabs. No. You got it. On to our next no. stop. Next, we'll be heading outside, so make sure to check those seals on your suit because it's a bit chilly out there. <laughs> if We're going out into the frozen wastes of Titan to see what powers this planet. Really Watch your step outside, by the way. The ice can be slippery if you're not careful. Oh, that was the, the doctor that was fussing with this Dr. guy. Lakota's infirmary. Oh, this is where I came in at. Okay. So, to pick up a couple of extra side quests. Whoa! He almost. 
You, uh, I mean, if you follow this guy around, you'll pick up, um, some side quests that, I mean, you probably could have picked them up yourself. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. Powering new homestead. So much As shit. you might imagine, generating energy was a real challenge back in the day because the technology was much more crude then. But crude or not, it was that technology that sustained the old Astro Base. And it might surprise you to learn that the same technology is still working today. Great. Can we the not interesting thing walk about this old colony there? is that it's mostly powered by clean, renewable energy. You'll see one of the methods used on the horizon up ahead. That's right, New Homestead's famous wind farms. This spot was chosen for the colony in part because of its constant winds. Okay. These turbines have been integral to the colony's function since its establishment as a cheap, mostly reliable source of electricity. So, let's talk about wind power, shall we? How about no? Actually, I think I like to move on. You're the boss. Let's go. Moving right along, we're going to learn about Titan's great natural resources. Titan is rich with hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Surely you saw huge pools of this stuff on your descent into New Homestead. I like to think they add to the natural beauty of this world. Though of course, stay away from them because, like anything beautiful, they can be dangerous. Just like my last ex-wife's pet. <laughs> She had this gorgeous, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, creature. <laughs> the guy that sold it to her couldn't tell her what it was or where it was from. I don't think it was even a legal sell, to be honest. The thing was very easy on the eyes. Feathers, all the colors of the rainbow. Nasty bite, though. Wound up in the hospital and almost lost my hand. Still not enough for her to get rid of the dang thing. <laughs> Anyway, there's a reason she's my ex-wife. But enough about me! <laughs> we were talking about methane and other resources, right? Dude, I can... <sighs> hey! Can you believe it? Back in the 20th century on Earth, they used to fight wars over natural resources like this and petroleum. They had this whole moon here, basically made of hydrocarbons in their own backyard. They just couldn't get to it. Incredible how far we've come. New Homestead is home to one of the oldest and largest methane processing plants in the settled systems. Every year, you see engineers. I wonder if one of the um, family things from the. remained operational as long as it has. I'm not going to take you too close to the machinery, liability and all, but I can still answer questions. No, please don't. Questions? No more questions right now. Okie dokie, artichokey. There will be time for more later anyway. So, this next stop is a bit of an interesting one. I only recently made it part of the tour. Great. Fun fact, it's also the only natural landmark on the tour. What we're about to see is a glacial spire we affectionately call Emir's Horn. This colis used to be named after a character in a popular fantasy novel, but it was changed a couple hundred years ago to avoid any potential litigation. Now, what's a colis, you might say? Colis derives from the Latin word for hill, and scientists only gave names to groups of hills on a planet's surface. So in reality, the term you hear more often is the plural, colise, with an E. You probably don't hear it very often where you're from, because it was usually a term reserved for unexplored planets, back when they didn't have the technology to describe what they were seeing firsthand. Because of that, the term is much more common in the Sol system, but you may still hear it occasionally in reference to uncharted worlds. This planet's full of them, though, and they like to preserve that history here. So here it is, Emir's Horn. You're free to take a closer look if you like. I'm done. Excellent. On to the next stop then. 
So, we're gonna head back inside through the methane processing plant. Try not to touch anything on your way. We want to make sure to respect Dr. Lakota's wishes to be safer around here. Oh, that brings me to another point. You'll notice the people around here have last names related to where their families originated from on Earth as a way to remember the past. Oh, really? The museum curator, Maurice Leon, has more information about that if you're interested. You can find him inside the main concourse. Loves talking about it. You'll find most of the locals here are very friendly to tourists like yourself. Tourism is a major draw to this colony these days, and I respect that. Most of them are happy to talk at length about what they do here. Their rugged lifestyle is a point of pride for a lot of these folks. This area we're walking through is the nerve center of the plant, where technicians keep an eye on the operation. Since methane production is such an important part of the colony's livelihood, it's important that the techs notice any issues and react. Oh. Was I supposed to go through here or no? You're welcome to keep your oh. suit on if you'd like. As you might expect from a place called the Ice Mines, it can get a little chilly. It takes miners working daily to clear the ice, melt it down, and keep the water flowing. Okay. Wow, he's really taking me on a tour of this whole thing. What else can I tell you about the ice? Nothing. I don't need to know any more about the mines. I'm ready to go. Sounds good. Let's keep going then. We have just one more stop before we're done with the tour, and it just happens to be my favorite. This colony is home to the longest-running establishment still in existence, the Brown Horse Tavern. The Brown Horse started as a simple mess hall for the scientists and workers when the underground was built, but it's been operated by the same family ever since. Okay. Now, what's a horse, you might say? They were a large four-legged animal on Earth, often used Oops. for transportation or manual labor. Long before space travel was even a dream for the folks of Earth, even before antique machines like automobiles were possible, horses could be found everywhere. You might have seen them in old movies or read about them somewhere. If not, I highly what recommend you guys doing? them sometime. They're in the hallway. The tavern's sure original nice. owner was infatuated with them, from what I understand, and named the place in their honor. The moniker, Brown Horse Tavern, is also a throwback oh, okay. to so names he, of similar back. Earth restaurants hundreds of years we're back before here. it was established. Cool. That delicious smell is making me hungry. <laughs> Can I answer anything about the Brown Horse? No, I'm good. Okay, then. All right, we're headed to the last stop. Right back where we began. Feel free to check out the museum exhibit in the main concourse here. These displays are full of rare earth trinkets salvaged from before humanity left, and Maurice is happy to talk about the collection. The museum's curator, Maurice, will be happy to talk to you if you want to know more. No, thanks. Well, that's that. I hope you enjoyed. I loved it. There's so uh, no no. Thank you. It was very educational. You're welcome. And thank you for coming along. Remember to tell your friends all about it. Take care. Oh my god. Okay, let's go buy this book. Jesus. I'm always Jesus. looking to trade for off old kids. Well, hello there. Hello. To my little shop. Jay. Are you visiting new homestead for the first time? Yes. Yes, this is my first time. Maybe 
Sometimes I party a little too hard and wind up in strange places. <laughs> oh, nice. You know, it's always such a pleasure to meet people from other worlds. Or just space. <laughs> I don't judge. I'm Jay. I'm happy to help you find what you're looking to Jay, buy you're or cute. take a look at whatever you want to sell. Trades of all kinds are welcome here. Or if you have any questions for me about the shop, the merchandise, or even just New Homestead in general, I'm happy to help you. I don't need to know anything else about New Homestead. I already took the tour. I like to take a look at what you're selling. You mentioned something about trading. What sorts of things are you looking for? What do you think about the tourists who come into New Homestead? Do you sell any souvenirs or anything like that? Um... Glad you asked. I'm looking for all sorts of things. Anything, really. Uh, clothing, weapons, jewelry, even stuff they consider junk. <laughs> you name it. Okay. You get a lot of off-world stock, so I offer to buy things from travelers. Anything they're willing to part with. So he buys. Between you and me, people around here talk a lot about tradition and Anything whatnot. Anything and everything. Even they get curious about what other worlds have to offer. Cool. Like to see what you got. Sure thing. I'm also interested in buying if you have anything for sale. Cool. Okay. Um, first of all, he has the book that I want. Uh, Dragon Star Force, Volume 2. Um, okay. Take care. Nice. So, there was one other thing to do while I was here. Speak. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. There's a lot of other things that I need to do here. Speak with Luther. Speak with Joyce. She was about the brownouts. And speak with the doctor lady. So. I'm going to do the little tid... Oh, gosh. I'm going to end the episode here. We are going to go speak with Luther. I guess he's like the head honcho around here. Um, we'll take care of the brownouts. We'll go talk to the doctor before we leave here. Um, and then we'll do the free Star Ranger stuff. Thank you, everybody who has joined me. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I enjoy your visit here. Enjoy your visit. I hope you see you guys next time. Bye.